Yes, yes, yes. It's Raphael Dawkins, Combat Radio. And today we're looking at the Boxing Social interview released last night with Mauricio Suleiman's latest utterances. And it is not good news for British boxing at all. It's Raphael Dawkins, Combat Radio. Hit the subscribe button if you like. Hit the like button. Okay, so Mauricio Suleiman has come out last night and stated that Tyson Fury is the mandatory, the new WBC mandatory for the WBC heavyweight belt to face Deontay Wilder in 2020. Now what's remarkable about that? Well, what's remarkable about that is that for something like what? 650 days, 700 days, Dillian White, seen here on screen, has been the WBC mandatory. And uh, the WBC recently came out in a statement, what, a week ago, two weeks ago, and said that Dillian White was being shifted back to their mandatory, to, to be their mandatory, Deontay Wilder's mandatory in 2021. But he was still the mandatory. But now, the mandatory for 2020 is Tyson Fury, as stated by Mauricio Suleiman. So, it doesn't matter if Dillian White is exonerated by UCAD with his alleged adverse finding for the fight post Oscar Rivas. It doesn't matter if he's exonerated today, tomorrow, next week, the week after, anytime in 2019. The new mandatory, as stated by Mauricio Suleiman for the WBC heavyweight belt to face Deontay Wilder is Tyson Fury. Where is Tyson? There he is, Tyson Fury. So, Dillian White now is irrevocably pushed back to 2020. <laughs> so, Dillian White, to be clear, is no longer the WBC mandatory in 2019. As of this point, he is not the WBC mandatory next year, 2020, for the whole of next year. They have him slated down as the WBC mandatory for 2021. <laughs> so the difference is he was the mandatory for 2019. He would have been without this ruling. He would have been the mandatory for 2020. It's just a question that he wouldn't have got his shot till 2021. But now he is no longer the mandatory until 2021 perhaps <laughs> because it depends on circumstances obviously if he loses they've given him a long time to lose now a long time to mess up if he loses before then then obviously he will not be the mandatory <laughs> oh dear so it seems like they've given him two years to lose what will it be three years by the time 2021 comes around will it have been three years that, Ma that Dillian White has been the number one fighter the number one contender in the wbc by the time the 2021 comes around D dillian white will have been the mandatory for something like three years or rather the number the number one the number one ranked fighter in the wbc for something like three years by the time 2021 rolls around <laughs> unbelievable unbelievable <laughs> you couldn't make this stuff up. 
why is the question. Is this what it seems like? Is this blatantly what it seems like? And what does it seem like? It seems like the WBC are act acting in concert with the, P the PBC to keep Dillian White away from Deontay Wilder. That's what it looks like to me. At all costs. At every turn. It seems like the objective is to keep Dillian White away from Deontay Wilder. <laughs> what other interpretations can there be? Utterly, utterly crazy. So, that's the word. <laughs> the WBC are going from bad to worse. First, the fr franchise champions. Getting in the way of some of the best fights. Turning champions into franchise champions where they have the right to pick and choose. And now, someone who has earned his position as a WBC number one competitor in the heavyweight division gets pushed back for three years. <laughs> Quite frankly, it is to me outrageous, bizarre, outlandish, intolerable. What can be done? There he is, the man sitting on the throne. <laughs> What say you? This is Raphael Dawkins. It's the combat radio. It's the like, it's the subscribe, it's the comment, it's the shares, and it is the hitting that bell icon to stay updated with news and notifications. And for sure, tune in to the live show Monday nights and Wednesday nights at 9.45 p.m. UK time. That's Monday and Wednesday, 9.45 UK time, PM. <sighs> what can be say that, what can we say that hasn't already been said? We be crooks. It's Raphael Dawkins, it's the Combat Radio. And I'm 